Hey, I'm Jant. I'm a contributor to the PIP network. PIP network is an oracle that delivers high frequency prices to the blockchain where they can be used in DeFi and other applications. I want to talk a little bit about how PIP network works in this video because it's a little bit different than other oracles that you may be used to. Most oracles today use a push model where the oracle updates a price on chain at some set frequency. Now this model works, but it's not very efficient because the oracle has to pay gas fees in order to do the updates. Additionally, the Oracle can be priced out of the network when there's congestion or other issues, causing the prices on chain to go stale. So PIP Network uses a different model that overcomes some of these limitations. Instead of publishing prices to the blockchain, pushing them there, PIP Network allows users to pull prices onto the blockchain when they need them. So what the network does is it streams prices off chain, and those prices are signed in a way where the on chain contract can validate them at any point in time. And this model improves over the push model in a couple different dimensions. The first is that it's much more gas efficient. So the network doesn't pay any gas fees for updates, and users only pay for the updates that they want. This allows the network to stream prices for a number of different products. We have over 80 products now, we're going to over 150 soon, and we can expand the universe arbitrarily. And it also allows us to stream extremely high frequency price updates. Our feeds update once a second, which would not be possible if we use the push model. The way PIP network works is all of our prices are sourced from a collection of data providers. These data providers share their price estimates for all of the products that they can price with an app chain called PIPnet. PIPnet exists solely for the purpose of combining the price estimates of the data providers into a single PIP aggregated price for every single product. These PIP aggregated prices are then sent to other networks through the wormhole message passing protocol. The result of this process is a stream of price updates where the price updates are all signed and verifiable such that anyone can check that they are a valid PIP message. Finally, the last piece of the system is a target chain contract that lives on all of the blockchains where PIP prices are available. There's a contract on Ethereum, a contract on Avalanche, etc. This contract can validate the authenticity of PIP messages. Now, PIP does not push these price update messages to the on-chain contracts. It is an integrator's responsibility to take the message from off-chain and push it on-chain when they want to use it. If you would like to integrate PIP network prices into your protocol, there are typically two steps to an integration. First, your on-chain program should interact with the PIP on-chain program. This will enable your program to accept PIP price update messages and validate that they are authentic. Second, users of your protocol need to take the PIP prices from off-chain and post them on-chain whenever they're doing an operation that needs them. So this integration will listen to the wormhole network in order to get the current price of a product. And then you can craft a transaction that simultaneously updates the PIP price and then does whatever operation that your protocol needs. The second part of the integration is a front-end integration. Typically, users will come to your application's front-end in order to perform an operation on your on-chain program. Now your on-chain program requires a recent PIP price update before it can be performed. So the user is now responsible for updating the PIP on-chain price before invoking the operation. The way this works is that the user listens to the wormhole network to get a recent PIP price update. They then craft a single transaction that first updates the PIP on-chain price and then invokes the operation on your program. The PIP network has provided a convenient TypeScript SDK to help you perform the front-end integration. This has been a brief introduction of the PIP network on-demand model and how to integrate with it. For more information, see the documentation section of our website. And if you have questions, please reach out in Discord.